channel. I hope you're all well. So today is a pretty exciting video because I have a new handbag to share with you guys. Also, if you're new here, welcome. I'd love it if you considered subscribing. I make new videos every Sunday and I'd love to have you here. Okay guys, so this handbag I've been eyeing for such a long time. And where I live, I don't actually have a YSL store, so I could never look at it in person. But every time I looked at it online, it just really made my heart happy, and I just thought it was a fantastic bag. I was going to order it on a Monday, and the weekend before that Monday, I actually went to Chicago. And when we pulled up to our hotel, I almost had a stroke, because they had a YSL store inside of the hotel. So that was meant to be, right? I mean, that was a sign. So I was super excited about that. And the same day we got to Chicago, I went down to the YSL store and looked at the handbag. And I just looked at it really quickly for like five minutes or so. When I make a big purchase like that, I really like to think about it and make sure that it's exactly what I want. And then I actually went to the Louis Vuitton store later that day because I wanted to look at the Pochette Matisse as well because that's another bag I've really been lusting after. After I looked at the Pochette Matisse, I just had to go back to the YSL store one more time and look at the bag again. And I walked back in there and I swore the people in there thought I was absolutely insane. Later that day, I decided that I just had to go back and buy it because what was the point of ordering it when I could just buy it right there? So I went back into the store a third time and one of the sales associates says, Oh, round two, and then the other guy goes, no, this is her third time. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. But anyways, I ended up buying the bag. I actually didn't take it with me that day. I had the guy mail it to me because that way I didn't have to pay taxes. So that was great because if I would have ordered it online, I would have still paid the tax. So a day after I got back home from Chicago, I finally got the bag in the mail. And I was so excited. Okay, so let me show you guys the bag. So I guess YSL bags don't come with like a box or anything when I got my Gucci bag and also my Louis Vuitton bags I you know you get like a nice box this didn't come with anything at all just the dust bag and then it was just in you know the box that they shipped it in so this is the YSL college bag in the black with the chevron detail and I believe this is lambskin this is just such a gorgeous bag I think this is like a really iconic bag and I feel like it matches my style just perfectly. It's so edgy, but it's still classy at the same time. So you have like best of both worlds. You can wear this bag three different ways. So you have a strap, so you can wear it um, over your shoulder. And then you have the top handle, which I personally absolutely love. So you can hold it like this, but you could also hold it like this. So that's pretty awesome that you can wear it kind of three different ways. Now, I personally have been wearing it just holding it by the top handle. That's how I prefer it. The strap on this is not long enough to wear it crossbody, but they do make a smaller size of this bag, which you can wear crossbody, I believe. Also, the strap is detachable. So let me take this off and show you guys what it looks like when you take the strap off. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the strap. I really like that as well. It kind of reminds me of a messenger bag, and I love that. I just think it's such a cool bag. You have a super large pocket in the back of the bag, which is perfect because I've just been keeping my cell phone in here and my wallet and my sunglasses, things that I want to reach very easily. Now, when it opens, it has like a flap and it opens with like a magnet. And then the inside, you have three compartments. So you have a larger compartment in the front and then you have a smaller compartment in the back and then a zippered compartment in the middle, which is great if you wanna keep anything like protected inside of here. So yeah, this bag definitely holds a lot of stuff. And I think that I'm going to be using this as a travel bag as well, like a carry-on if I'm flying somewhere or if we're driving somewhere because it just fits so much. You can fit a normal sized iPad in the back of this bag perfectly fine. Now the bag is just so buttery soft. So if you don't like soft bags, you may not like this bag. You can see where the sides have already gotten like really soft. And when I went into the YSL store to look at this bag, not this particular one, but the one they had on display, you could tell that it was just really soft. The sides were shaped a little different and I think it was from standing on the shelf in the sun, but that doesn't bother me at all. I actually think it gives the bag character. Now for the hardware, as you can see, I went with the gunmetal hardware 
and I actually wasn't sure and couldn't decide if I should go with the gunmetal or the all black because I kind of don't like mixing silver and gold so that's why I was looking at the all black option. I actually find that this gunmetal silver is kind of dark enough to where it doesn't bother me. Mix it with the you know silver and gold. And this bag comes in lots of different colors. They have this bag in like a gray. I'm not really sure what exactly the name of it is but it's so gorgeous and I was actually going back and forth between the gray and the black but I ended up going for the black one just because black's kind of my color and I think that I will get a lot more wear out of the black than I would of the gray. Yeah, I just think this is a really iconic bag. I think it's a very beautiful bag. Again, like I said before, I feel like it's edgy but it's still very classy. I think if you take the strap off, you could also very well use this as like an evening bag I love it. I'm so happy I purchased it. Now this isn't a review because I have obviously haven't had the bag long enough to tell you how it wears and things like that, but these are just my initial thoughts. Now these may change over the next months and the longer I have the bag, but for right now I love it and I think it's perfect. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I mean, like, just look at it. It's I just think it's so beautiful. I also think that because you can wear it three types of ways, that you can really, you know, wear this bag with a lot of different outfits and it will look good. But yeah, guys, that was it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this bag, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them. If you guys ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you guys next week. Bye.